am here to do my update for my yearly rolling project pan for the month of July. So if you want to see what products I used up and how I'm going on the rest of my products, then let's get into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I'm the makeup enthusiast. And if you're new around here, I love doing project pans. So if you love watching project pans, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. I am doing a yearly rolling project pan and my aim for this project pan is to use up 50 products and or $1,500 worth of products. And I am doing this as part of the hashtag team project pan project. So if you are interested in binge watching a whole heap of project pan videos, then you can click the hashtag that is just down below above the title of my video and that will take you over to all the hashtag team project pan videos that are taking place throughout the year. So without further ado, let's jump on into the video and see how I went with my products in July. So I actually went away for about a week in July and I didn't get a chance to use a fair few of these products for that whole week. I didn't end up taking a lot of these products with me because they're just not products that I rely on all the time. They're not like my holy grail tried and true products that I know that work all the time for me. So a lot of these products ended up staying at home. I did still make a fairly decent amount of progress on most of the products. There were just a few that I didn't get a chance to touch or I barely touched this month. So as per usual, we will start with those products that I barely used or I didn't use all that much this month and we will roll right through to the end of the video where you get to see the pan porn segment and then I will discuss any products that I I'm going to roll in this month. So I actually have two project pans rolling at the moment so that is another reason why a few of these products didn't get touched because I kind of have a few double ups across the projects which probably was not the smartest idea but the three products that I didn't really touch all that much this month are as per usual my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, my Steel Magnificent Metal in um, Kitten Karma and my Nude by Nature concealer stick. So those are the three that are still giving me trouble and I'm still working the kinks out on how to roll these in. The next one is my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick. This is a little sample and this sample is lasting me forever. I have used it a few times this month. Generally like cream contouring or cream contouring sticks are not something that I use on a daily basis or I forget to use them. By the time I've powdered I'm like oh crap that's that's right, I forgot to use my cream contour stick. So this is a fairly decent sample and you don't really need to use all that much when you are doing your makeup. So this one may be in the project for a little while yet. Then I have my matte cream sheen lip gloss in Japanese spring. Now it does look like I have made progress on it, but it has like settled out up the top of the tube. I generally try and keep this like sitting upright on my desk so I can clearly mark it and it stays level at all times, but it has been knocked over a few times this month. So it's all settled up the top, but I haven't made much progress on this and I know I haven't because I have been focusing on my other lip gloss that I have in this project and also the lip gloss that I put in my Fun in the Sun project pan. And another thing is I haven't really been enjoying lip gloss all that much this month. So they all haven't really been touched all that much across the board. MAC Angel Lipstick. I was hoping that I would have this almost done but I did really want to focus on my lipstick that I have in my other project. This is gonna be a growing trend in this video. I included three lip products in my other project pan. I thought I would be able to cope, but it is getting pretty evident that I am struggling. So this one has been put on the back burner, but once that project is over, I will definitely get back into focusing on this and power through this one and we will see how we go. That goes for my Buxom lip gloss. I don't know where I'm up to on this one. This is another one that um, I have put in my handbag for work to try and apply it at work. So it's not nice and level like it has been last month. So it is difficult for me to mark the progress, but I haven't used this one all that much. So I'm banking on the fact that there is zero progress. One that I can't see inside is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. It is still pro pulling product out on the wand, so I'm just going to keep persevering with it. My Victor Moff Flower Bomb Perfume. I made a... I made a shit ton of progress on this this month. I um, focused on like reapplying this uh, just a few spritz throughout the day. I've been using it as like a room spray because I've just... 
a bit over it so I just want to get it out of my collection so I am down past the bottom curve in the glass I guess you could say so I think this one will probably be done before the end of the next update and if that is the case I'm gonna be one happy girl. Two complexion products that I included no I rolled this one in last month and then I rolled this one in a couple of months ago so this is the Mary Kay CC cream and the NYX HD studio photogenic foundation so they are both getting quite low I've been mixing these two together the past month or so and yeah the NYX one I'm surprised how much I've gone through it this past month use more of this one than I do of this one I think I do about one and a half to two pumps of this one and then I do a fairly generous squirt of this one. I'm getting through them. I think I'll have this one finished in the next update. I'm not sure about this one. Model's own loose powder. I am powering through this. Normally loose powders take me forever to use up, but I think I have, I think I'm about halfway through, which is, I mean, I am so happy with that. I think this is a fairly decent powder for the price. I think if you're wanting a budget friendly or a lower end priced powder. I think this is a fairly decent one and I don't think you would be disappointed if you are into loose powders. I think check this one out because it's a fairly decent powder for the price. My Essence Brow Kit. Now I had a, I had not long hit pan last month and I was just, come on, this is getting very messy this brow kit which is upsetting it's very messy because of the packaging or lack thereof this packaging on this brow kit is atrocious so i have just focused on making more pan on the lighter side here and i've done a very good job so far so i'm just going to continue to make more pan on that side and yeah we'll see i might need to repress it at some point this next month because if it comes away from the side of the pan at all it gets even more messy so it just starts to crumble everywhere and it makes a big mess so if that at all happens at any point this month I will have to repress it but I'm making decent progress on the lighter side I don't know I'm getting a little bit over this product because it's taking me forever to go through so I don't know what the solution is to that but I would like to at least completely use up one side of this product and then maybe once that's done I can get rid of it out of my collection. Astralis AC on tour contouring and highlighting kit. This is one big mess in here I know. The powders in here go everywhere. The yellow powder I have nearly completely used up. There is just a little bit left around the rim here. The pinkio powder is almost quite flat almost really really flat on the whole section here. I did repress the highlighter this last month. I made a totally crappy crappy job of it. It looks like a absolute pigsty in there um, but I haven't really used this one all that much this past month. I kind of got a little bit sick of it so I did include a highlighter mini in my fun in the sun project pen so I've just been focusing on that one and I've actually been really enjoying that highlighter. This one in here it's okay but I don't enjoy you using it all that much. My Makeup Geek pigment, I am still powering through. I mean, I'm making fairly decent progress. I'm using this every single day. So I'm making, I'm, I'm using it. I'm making progress. I can see there's progress, but when I do use it, I only use the tiniest little bit of it. So I don't know how much longer this is gonna take me to get through, so we'll see. It may not be used up by the end of the year because there's just so much pigment in these little jars. Living Proof Instant Texture Mist. This is one of the samples that I rolled in a couple of months ago. This is taking me quite a while to use up, but there is only a little bit left in there, probably only enough for like one or two more uses. So I think this one will definitely be done by the next update. Oh, this guy. This guy, this guy, this guy. My MAC Painterly Paint Pot. It is still going. I'm still making progress. I'm still using it every day, but um, I don't see an end in sight anytime soon. As long as I think 
I think a realistic goal for this one is as long as it's used up by the end of the year, I will be very happy with that. I think based on current progress and the fact that it's getting very close to the bottom of the jar means that that is a, a pretty realistic goal, but it's just disappointing to see such so slow progress on these. I know a lot of people comment every month that these take forever to use up. I definitely understand that and I definitely hate complaining every single month about this product but they really really do go on forever if you find a color that you like in these mac painterly paint pods i definitely think that they are good value i think they're like 30 dollars for this little pot but this little pot have has been going for like over a year straight of use so i think they are definitely good value bobby brown pot rouge for lips and cheeks this one is nearly done I think that there is a high chance that this could potentially be used up next month. I'm making really good progress on it. Last month there was only the tiniest little bit of pen in the middle and I ended up scraping everything from the outside to the center just so it was a little bit easier to get on my brush so it looks like a total mess in there at the moment but I'm making really good progress since it has been moved to the center. I think that kind of loosened up the formula a little bit and made it a little bit smoother so it does pick up on my brush a lot nicer now since I've kind of agitated the product a little bit. Definitely getting through this making progress and there might be a chance that I get to roll in a new blush before the end of the year at this rate which is pretty exciting. Benefit Hula Bronzer. Last month I had the tiniest little bit of pan on there and as you can see the pan is getting pretty big so I'm very very happy to see that. The last product that I need to update you on is my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C3. I took out the stopper of this this morning because I just wasn't really getting all that much product on the little doe foot applicator every time I took it out. I felt like it just scraped off so much of the product and I wasn't getting enough on the applicator. So I think this one will probably be maybe another month, maybe a month and a half to two months, just purely because there is a fair bit of product build up on the outside of the tube and down the bottom here. I'm liking this concealer. I wear it on a daily basis. I put it under my eyes to like highlight and conceal my eyes a little bit. And yeah, it's a nice concealer. I think it lasts well and I don't really have anything else to say about it. It's a reasonably priced concealer. I think these are seven dollars maybe maybe even less than that you can get these from glam raider in australia so those are all my products that i am updating you on now i will roll you into the pan porn segment which is the most exciting segment of all these videos and then i will let you know what products i have used up and then the products that i am rolling in just saw the pan porn segment and I used up a total of six products this month. It was a little bit touch and go there at one point. I didn't think I was going to have any products used up but then in the last week and a half I've just kind of been knocking over products like flies so I have thoroughly enjoyed this month. I feel like it was a very big success this month. So let's talk about the products that I used up this month. So firstly was the Hylamide Pore Delete. This is a primer. This product I did fly through this month. I probably used it a little bit more than I should have based on the fact that I didn't enjoy this product. So I was kind of using a little bit more every time just to get through it because I thoroughly thoroughly hated this product because I just did not like the way it felt on my skin. It really balled up my foundations and some days my foundation and my complexion and base just looked atrocious so I really didn't enjoy this product and I'm glad to have it out of my collection and out of this project pan so that's the first one that I used up. Next is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. This one is not it's not empty, but it has dried up, so I'm calling this one done. I really enjoyed this mascara while I was using it. I think it has a nice brush. The formula is really nice, and it really like held my lashes in place, so it was a nice mascara 
while I had it. Probably wouldn't pay the price for the full size though because I'm assuming it's quite expensive. Another sample that I used up was the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. I rolled this in a fair few months back but I've only been using it here and there in between project pan updates where I've been waiting to roll in a new product or on days that I wanted like a luminous base for my foundation. So finally used that one up. I did enjoy this product, but I don't know. I don't think I would buy the full size of it. I also used up the Too Faced Tinted Beauty Balm in Cream Glow. I mixed this one in with the NYX foundation that I had. So I did get to use this one up pretty quickly and yeah. I'm glad to have that one done as well. The last two products, the first one is a massive, massive feat for me, and that is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Eye Pencil in Jet Black. This one had been in my project for so long, so I'm so glad to finally finish this one up. I'm glad it's gone. I have since, like, trawled through my collection, and I think I have another one of these so I'm gonna have to throw that in a project pan at some point but I'm so glad to have this one done and dusted I don't enjoy this eyeliner I think it's really smudgy and bad it needs to be set for it to not move and it's difficult like on the waterline because it transfers everywhere the last product that I used up is the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray I thoroughly enjoy this setting spray. I have another one of these in my collection that I'm going to roll in at some point, but I do really like this setting spray. I think it's a really nice setting spray to kind of take away the cakiness, bring your makeup back to life, and also help it last longer. I think this is a really good setting spray and I really enjoy it. Those are the products that I used up and this month I'm rolling in a fair few products. I'm probably shooting myself in the foot rolling so many products in, but I think it will... I think it'll be fine. Some of these products are from categories that I haven't got in this project yet, so I think it'll be fine. The first one I'm rolling in is the Lavera Lip Balm. I've used this a little bit, but not really all that much. I figured I don't have a lip balm in this project and I have really dry lips. I have a massive stash of lip balm, so it only seems to make sense to roll in a lip balm. So there's that one. Also, I've got my Bourjois Beauty Volume Mascara. I just finished up the It Cosmetics, so I thought I would roll this one in. This is a full size, whereas the It Cosmetics was a sample, so we'll see how we go with a full size mascara. I also have a sample of the It Cosmetics CC Cream in Light. Now, I'm rolling this one in because I think I'm pretty close to finishing up the NYX foundation, so I think this one will pair well with the CC Cream, and hopefully between the three of those products, I will get like all three of them finished by combining them. Then as a primer, I have the J1 Jelly Pack Primer. I haven't used this yet, so it is a brand new tube. I'll see how this goes. I haven't actually tried this product, so it's probably going to be a massive fail including this, but we'll see how we go. And you guys know I'm pretty perseverant when it comes to products that I don't enjoy. I really like to get my money's worth, so I will persevere and use a product up. I'll see how it, this one goes, figure out a way that I like to use it, and I might report back next month and let you know how I've enjoyed using it. Another product that I have is the Juice Double Up Volume Boost. This is like a hair cream. It's like a heat protectant volume adder, body adder cream thing for your hair. <laughs> I have a fair few products that do kind of this same thing in my collection and I really want to get rid of them so I can like try new hair products. So I thought I would add this one in. This will probably take me forever to use up. It is a very big tube. And then the last one here is the Inica Black Caviar Eyeliner. So rolling this one in because I used up the Bobbi Brown one. And hopefully this will be a formula that I can use in my waterline and it might mean that I can get through it a little bit quicker than the Bobbi Brown one took me. That's my update for my project pan for the month of July. I will make sure I leave on the screen just up here the total value of those few products that I used up this month. And also if you're new around here and you like project pans and project pan updates, I do do a fair few project pans throughout the year. So if that interests you at all, I hope you would consider subscribing down below. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope you stick around to watch some more videos on my channel and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.